Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be testing the latest version of Cyberpunk 2077 on my Steam Deck running on SteamOS. It's version 2.13, this is the update log, add support for FSR 3.0 with frame generation. Just to be clear, this is not FSR 3.1, this means we cannot use XCSS or DLSS upscaler in conjunction with FSR 3 frame generation. We have to use FSR 3 upscaler, which is basically a slightly tweaked variant of FSR 2.2. And I'll be very honest with you, its image quality is terrible, especially in this game. I've even tested FSR 3.1 upscaler, it's nothing special. It suffers from that texture shimmering problem when viewing fine textures from a far off distance. Textures like wires, rails, grills and meshes. This is why I always switch to XCSS version 1.3 or DLSS subscaler whenever I am using FSR 3 mods. XCSS is recommended for non-RTX based GPUs and DLSS for RTX based GPUs. Even XCSS version 1.3 upscaler produces a better looking upscale image than FSR 3.1 in most of the games. Added support for XCSS of sampling version 1.3. It will now be possible to enable both DLAA and DLSS re reconstruction at the same time. This is for RTX GPU owners. Add a new utility tab in settings and move HDD mode, hybrid CPU utilization and AMD SMT options there. Other stability and visual fixes. I have already done my testing, was not impressed by official FSR frame generations performance gain. FPS did increase by around 70 to 80% but the fluidity was not there. Game seem to be running in a sluggish manner then what's the point of enabling frame generation it increases system latency as well i am using g proton version 9-13 as the compatibility layer after testing official fsr frame generation i'll be showing you how to install dlss enabler mod which allows us to enable fsr 3.1 in this game connected my cosmic by stellaris gamepad to deck via bluetooth mode with dlss enabler we will also be able to use xcss upscaler this is the LCD variant of Steam Deck, its refresh rate is capped at 60Hz, so I'll just unlock the FPS. Performance overlay level 2. Disable frame limit and allow tearing settings. Enabled. That's it. I'm using the low preset. First I'll run the game without frame generation. Resolution scaling set to FSR 3. Using its balance preset. Performance preset not recommended. It will make the game look so pixelated. Frame generation off. Motion blur disabled. And these are the settings that come with low preset. Few settings are set to medium. 800p resolution display mode borderless. After enabling frame generation, you won't be able to switch to full screen mode. Bizarre decision. And you are required to restart the game every time you enable or disable frame generation. We sync off. We are in. I am in Little China, standing right outside V's apartment building. Looking around 36 to 45 FPS. Look at that CPU usage 90 to 95%. Hitting the GPU bottleneck as well. Image quality. Yeah, I can observe some texture shimmering going on around the trees, leaves. See? Observable even on Steam Deck small display. Common graphical artifact when using FSR 3 upscaler in this game. I'll steal this vehicle. Cows will start shooting at me. Switch camera. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. This sequence is very demanding. And driving around, getting attacked from every angle. 30 to 35 FPS. I was able to lose the cops quickly. Okay, so now I'll be running the game with official FSR frame generation. I'm observing some texture shimmering around the fences. See? They are appearing to be flickering. Graphics settings. Frame generation, FSR 3 apply, restart the game, we are in, it's the same sequence, the FPS increased to around 55, 50 to 60, check out the input response, 
input delay is not a problem but look at the performance does it look like 50 fps to you it seems the game is running at half of 50 fps that is 25 fps i can observe the choppiness almost as if frame generation is not working and i can observe the degradation in the image quality when i move the camera around quickly texture shimmers not impressed by the official fsr3 frame generation implementation you are better off running the game without enabling it texture shivering around the tree <laughs> it's not running smoothly just kill the cops steal the vehicle there used to be some flickering back upon flickering around the car's bumper when we enable frame generation via fsr3 mods this problem is not present in the official fsr implementation see car's bumper is not flickering I'll highlight this bug when I install DLSS enabler. Good thing is that we can fix the issue by using another mod. No flickering is going on, but the gameplay is so choppy. 50 FPS with frame generation. This is not how frame generation works. So now I'll show you how to install DLSS enabler. I'll be using this build of DLSS enabler version 3.02.000.0 beta 4 it adds support for latency flex which is an open source alternative to nvidia reflex it should help in reducing the latency and improve frame time stability need to enable it from nvngx.ini file need to set reflex emulation to on other fixes optiscaler mod updated to version 0.6.7 latency flex in action it helped in reducing the latency by around 10 milliseconds on Radeon 5700 XT GPU. Download the build from this link under Asset section exe file. Now I'll show you the games directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. I on the Steam version of Cyberpunk. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Now open bin folder, open x64 folder. This is the directory. I have installed the game on Steam Deck's internal SSD. We'll be installing DLSS enabler using Proton Tricks. You can download this application for free from Discover Store. If you are using the beta build of SteamOS, you need to use the beta version of Proton Tricks. Otherwise, you'll see an error. From this list, select Cyberpunk. Double click. This window will pop up after a few seconds. Select this option. Select the default Wine Tricks, then click on OK. Now select this option. Run Wine CFG. Click on OK. From here, select the Drives tab. Check the setting show dot files, apply OK. Now select run explorer option, select OK. This window will pop up. Navigate to the directory where DLSS enablers exe file is present. In my case, it's the downloads directory. Open my computer Z drive, home folder, tech folder. Here look for downloads folder, there it is. And there is the DLSS enabler setup file. Click on I accept, next, next, specify the games directory, browse, C drive in my case, internal SSD, home, deck, dot local, there it is, share folder, here look for steam folder, now look for steam apps folder, common folder, Look for Cyberpunk folder, there it is, Cyberpunk 2077. Open bin folder, open x64 folder. This is the final directory where you need to install TLSS enabler. Click on OK. Click on Next. First option check, install as a version.tll file. Check this box. Next to enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. That's it. Next, install. Wait for the process to complete uncheck this box click on finish close need to add a launch option to the game select the game in your steam library right click properties click on general 
under launch options just add this line of text i'll provide it in the description of the video you can copy it from there and paste it here using gproton version 9-13 as the compatibility layer now just navigate to the directory where you install the mod we need to tweak the nvngx.inf file open pin folder x64 folder there's the inf file open it make sure reflex is set to on generator is set to auto i'll be using fsr 3.1 frame generation so i'll just replace auto with fsr 31 if for some reason you want to use fsr 3.0 frame generation just type fsr 30 click on save by default xcss upscaler will be used on non rtx based gpus i'll stick with the default settings switch to steamos gaming mode we'll be using the same settings as before video settings 800p resolution we sync off graphics resolution scaling set to dlss it will basically use xcss version 1.3 using its balance preset sharpness level 0.3 frame generation set to dlss frame generation fsr 3.1 frame generation will be used low preset apply restart the game yeah we are in same sequence little china immediately i can observe the improvement in image quality yeah look at the trees its leaves no texture shimmering is going on all thanks to xcss version 1.3 input response input delay is not a problem latency flex is working can observe the added amount of smoothness that jank is gone that i was observing when i had fsr3 enabled the official implementation this is fsr3.1 but it's not perfect i'll just highlight its bugs graphical artifact you can see a screen tearing like effect around the left and right edges let me just drive a vehicle there will be some flickering going on around the vehicle's bumper at high speeds quickly kill the cops 50 to 60 fps steal the vehicle switch my camera just observe the bottom area I gain some speed first Forty-seven to fifty FPS, fifty-five FPS. Oh no! Crashed into that vehicle. Yeah, you can see some flickering going on around the bottom edge. See, clearly visible. We can fix this issue. Check out the fences in the background considerably less flickering going on with xcss now i'll show you how to fix the frame generation related graphical artifacts first just download this mod frame gen ghosting fix for fsr 3.0 3.1 click on files i'll give the link to this website in the description you need to have a free nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here okay i'll be downloading an older version of the mod that does not require red script you just need to download the version of the mod corresponding to your display's aspect ratio in the case of steam deck it's 16 is to 10 download this version 1.4b click on manual download click on download click on slow download moving on to the next mod disable vignette and or sharpening click on files click on manual download under disable vignette Click on slow download, last but not least, crouch vignette effect remover, click on files, download the latest version, manual download, slow download, wait for the process to complete, now open file explorer, go to downloads directory, here you will find the 3 zip files that we just downloaded, there they are, need to extract their contents, 
start will disable when yet drag and drop this archive folder outside of this window like this extraction complete close this window there is the archive folder open the next save file frame gen ghost and fix do the same thing again drag and drop this archive folder outside of this window extraction complete open crouch vignette zip file same process now keep opening the folders that are present inside the archive folder until you reach the last subdirectory and you should be seeing these three archive files these are basically the mods that we will be using go back copy this mod folder open the games install directory there is the game now open archive folder open pc folder paste the mod folder here that's it mods have been installed switch to streamers game mode launch the game using the same settings as before we are in 50 to 60 fps i'll quickly steal the vehicle you can see gpu load is around 90 percent we are not hitting the gpu bottleneck That's why I did not use the performance preset of XCSS upscaler. Okay, just observe the car's bumper. Yeah, that flickering is gone. I can already see this. Cops are <laughs> blocking my way. demanding sequence you can see FPS drop down to around 40 no flickering so our mods work frame generation related graphical artifacts got fixed I'll also load Dockdown area which is exclusive to Phantom Liberty expansion it's more demanding than the base version of Cyberpunk. 40 to 60 FPS. You get the animation. No jank at all. This is Dog Town. There's V. Keep an eye on the FPS content. I'll be riding my bike. This area is very demanding on the CPU. The FPS drop down to around. 40 can observe the jank 40 fps with frame generation is not going to look good as you can see because half of the frames are fake real fps is around 20 good thing is audio is not stuttering you can actually play the game not the ideal experience i'm not recommending it but if you have no other choice this is your solution empty area Lockdown is too much for Steam Deck. I'll engage in combat. We are not hitting the GPU bottleneck. Very high CPU is it. And this area is heavily guarded. Start shooting people. 33 FPS. On foot, FPS is within a range of 40 to 50. Driving around really stresses the processor. Input delay, not bad. Image quality looks decent. See, fine lines. 